Hi everyone, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we are going to see about real device setup for LED blink using Raspberry Pi device. But here we are not going to use any Python program or even we are not going to install any operating system for the Raspberry Pi to do this. So these are all the devices required to set up this scenario. Started with Raspberry Pi board, breadboard, LED, resistor and followed by two jumper wires, one for power and another one for ground. Here I have taken male to female jumper wires for connecting the LED resistor with the breadboard and Raspberry Pi. Here I am using Raspberry Pi model number 3 for this scenario setup. Let me see one by one. First starts with the Raspberry Pi board which is nothing but SBC board. SBC stands for single board computer. Simply we call it as credit card size computer. It is coming up with 40 GPIO pins, general purpose input output. So 1, 2, 3, 4, like that it will go up to 39 and 40 pins through which you can connect it. Here it is the processor and it is coming with 1 GP RAM and added to that we have many ports. So if you look at here it is coming with 4 USB ports. Nearby it we have a Ethernet port through which we can connect our local area LAN cable. Nearby that we have a audio socket our headphone could be connected here and next to that is a HDMI port through which this device could be connected with the monitor either TV or PC monitor and nearby that camera we can use the Pi camera to connect in this slot and here is the power port which is mini USB port to give power supply to this board and added to that here we have a display port which is for LCD displays we can connect it along with the Raspberry Pi. Backside SD card slot here actually we have to install the Raspbian OS in the SD card and we have to put it here but as I told you before we are not going to use any Raspbian OS here. So this is small size breadboard this side full of plus and this column full of minus and if you look at another side this full column act as plus and this act as minus. So both the corners will perform in vertical basis. But if you look at inside which is going to act as a horizontal basis you could see that numbers 1, 2, 3 up to 30 rows are there and labeled with A, B, C columns up to J and in between there is a splitter both the sides you can fix the sensors and this is LED comes with anode and cathode anode stands for plus and cathode stands for minus here I mark black color for cathode minus which is this leg is minus leg and uh, you can see there is no flat surface and another side you can see a bend which is acting as a anode and this is resistor which is used to divide the voltage to the LEDs and this is jumper wires to connect the LEDs with the breadboard and Raspberry Pi red color used to give the power and black color which is used for the negative ground now I am going to give the connection first breadboard next take LED going to place it in the inner part of the breadboard cathode which is negative is in the fifth row and anode positive which is in the eighth row you can see it here so that negative side is in the fifth row and uh, the positive leg is in the eighth row next I have to take the resistor which is going to divide the voltage as per the LEDs requirements and uh, place one leg of the resistor in the LEDs anode that is positive row slot and another leg of resistor in any other row. So you can see 8th is in the positive so you can place one resistor's leg and negative is empty now. I am going to use the jumper wires to connect it. First I am going to take the black color jumper wires to give the connection and place one side with the negative row of your LED which is cathode row and another side I am going to use it in the Raspberry Pi. And here sixth pin is used for ground. There are so many ground pins, even nine also, but I am going to use sixth pin for ground. So ground is given to the negative. Now take the red color jumper wire, which is used for giving the power. Resistors another leg row, you can choose any slat. So I am inserting it in the resistors another leg row. And I am going to give it in the Raspberry Pi. So one and two by default having voltage. Here I am going to choose the pin 2. So 2 is having 5 voltage. So here you could see the circuit very clear. This is the negative of LED which is connected with the ground. 
and this is the positive row one end connected with resistor another end is here and uh, here we have taken it for the power from the raspberry pi and negative is which is given to the ground so this is the circuits which we have designed it so negative to ground positive to resistor and to voltage of raspberry pi now we have given the power supply to the board let me check whether once power on whether the led is blinking or not now i will switch on you can see the led is on and off now on now you see the raspberry pi board is getting on and led is on off board is off and also led is off so once your board is getting power your led is become on now i am going to change the pin as i told you 1 and 2 is having by default voltage so 2 is having 5 voltage 1 is having 3 voltage so without any python program here we can simulate it now i try with another pin for example seventh pin you see there is no power supply so led is not blinking i am trying with some other pins also you can make it but we have to use the python program to make the led to on so by default here i can use one or pin two if you look at back side uh, sd card slot is empty here no operating system also so by default with the help of raspberry pi this topology done this is the circuit design Thanks for watching. Hope you have understand. If you like this video, share with your friends. Subscribe this channel for getting more video updates. Bye bye.